I'm gonna have one character where I'm gonna allow myself to just never fucking rematch. And it's gonna be Kuma. I've already dis I al this already happened yesterday. I just said, I disapprove, I'm not gonna rematch. Well, technically it turns into two, but we're, we're the same. We are 31 characters in this game. Let, let's not kid ourselves. We are not 32 characters. We are 31 characters in this game. So, yeah, I'm gonna rematch every single character in the game going forward at all times, as I've done so far, except for these. I disapprove of this character. I'm never gonna rematch. I'm, I'm just gonna go, fuck you. Um... So, yeah, we're gonna make that list. Can we make the list here? Maybe? Wait, wait. May maybe we can make the list here. I, I know I have a pencil program. Yeah, yeah, and then I can screenshot it. Uh, let's see. And then if I do display capture and when I do this and we go green oh yeah look except Alyssa should definitely not be green though because I fucking despise <laughs> I fucking despise Alyssa uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna post this to YouTube but let, let's just give it a really quick rundown if I'm, I'm gonna I'm just gonna very quickly Tell you guys about the characters I like versus the characters I dislike. And this is gonna blow a lot of people's minds. Well, I mean, I think most of you know that uh, I play a ton of characters. I got 35 characters to Tekken God in, uh, in Tekken 7. And uh, a lot of people think that I only play Kazuya, but, you know, that hasn't been the case the last, like, seven years. I, I just... There's a lot of characters I really like, I really respect, and to be honest, you know, I really love Tekken, and... Uh, when you're as devoted as I am to this game, like, it's impossible to just be fascinated with one character, because what makes Tekken so cool is that the characters do such vastly different things. And that's also why I, I, I despise Xiaoyu, despise Xiaoyu, but I still appreciate the fact that she brings something completely unique. Or like uh, Yoshimitsu, who says, fuck all your rules. He like upends the, the Tekken system. He doesn't obey the system mechanics. Um, it's like, it's a love-hate relationship where I hate fighting him because he doesn't allow you to attack. But he also doesn't allow you to block. He's the only character that does this. Uh, anything, any strat you go in, any game plan you apply on Yoshi, he doesn't allow you to do it. And it depends a lot on what the Yoshi player does. And there's a lot of creativity involved with his completely unique moveset. Uh, but I, so, so I hate that. I hate that. I, I feel like I can't really play Tekken against him. But the other end of that, the other end of that coin is that he's completely unique, and I love that. And Tekken characters are allowed to break the rules more than I think a lot of fighting games do. I mean, say no more than Akuma in Tekken Seven, right? So I, th I think that's really cool. But so uh, yeah, uh, I, I just wanted to say that um, I appreciate so much what different characters do in this game and the different archetypes. So a lot of characters do interest me. Uh, but so let's just start. Uh, we're, we're starting with Red. Because I, I despise Alyssa. Uh, so this one is uh, pretty much a character I hate. I think she is the biggest, one of the most brain dead characters in the game. Uh, a character that very often uh, you see someone at like Fujin, Raijin rank and they play like a green rank. I mean, uh, that's an exaggeration, it's hyperbole, because they certainly have a little bit more defensive ability, but it's not too far from the truth. When she goes into destruction mode and goes bzz, 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 it's, it's just insane the amount of brain dead shit you get away with. And it's actually really strong. If you just spam chainsaws, which uh, a monkey can do, it's actually very tough for your opponent to deal with, and they actually need hard reads on you. There's no real option select. So, one of the biggest carry characters in the game, I've always felt, and this has been, you know, we saw it in the statistics. Uh, 
Only Feng carries harder right now in Tekken 8. Uh, Feng, Kuma Panda, no one knows for matchup, bullshit, but then it's Alisa. And it's not hard to believe considering how many Alisas I've seen lately in high ranks and who have no clue about defending. They have no idea how to defend against anything. But uh, they just do their shit and uh, yeah, it's just very abusable. Uh, and then we go right to Asuka, a character I also... It's, it's in the exact same category. And it's kind of cool that they, <laughs> they come as a package. Um, yeah, it, exact same reason. Super brain dead. A character you'll see a lot of uh, big streamers play now who get into Tekken and who want to brag about getting a, a huge rank as quickly as possible. They're all playing Asuka. And it's because... The biggest problem you will have going into going into Tekken is the knowledge check nature of the game. In green ranks, you're getting knowledge checked by kings, dragonovs, uh, even Kazuyas, Pauls, and they're doing the most obvious knowledge checks. The stuff where if you have like 200 hours in the game, you'll know those kind of by heart. But once you go into the higher ranks, the knowledge check is basically the super rare characters. These. And they'll do very obnoxious shit. And they're much harder matchups in general to learn than these characters. So that's the most extreme knowledge check. And it's the higher up you go in rank, the more extreme the, the knowledge checks become. But so what Asuka players do and all of these players who want to... Okay, I can only invest 20 hours in this game. I want to win as much as possible. Or I'm going to play in Sage Jam's Cup for YouTubers in two weeks. How do I win that? Play Asuka. Asuka, it doesn't matter what rank you are in, you have the best, best uh, EXDP in the game. You press back free and you mi mitigate, is that a word, pretty much every single knowledge check in the game. Knowledge checks are a huge fucking deal in Tekken, much more so than any other fighting game. And by pressing that button, back free, you mitigate all of that and you do it resource-less and pretty much risk-free at, at those ranks. Even in high rank, like back free, if spaced properly, you get away with it so much. So, and basically any button she presses, she is super evasive and launches you. Super brain dead, super carry. I really dislike that uh, gameplay design. But at the same time, there's an argument for, but shouldn't there be a very easy character in the game? And, and again, this is this is also the nature of Tekken, where uh, it's, it's that debate people had. There's no execution in Tekken. Look at Street Fighter, every character has execution. And I'm like, well, that, that's what's so beautiful about Tekken. Uh, the characters do very different things. And, it, and difficulty as well in execution. Some characters have tremendous execution requirements. And some characters, it's the easiest execution requirements you've ever seen in a fighting game. You just press a button sequence, even pretty slowly. There's, there's no execution at all. And it's like, that's unique to Tekken, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that, that Asuka is like, it's a character with training wheels. But, uh, but at the same time, I just, I hate the fact that these two, you can be a very average player, and you can beat someone who's significantly better than you, and it happens frequently, and that just, it's the, it's the worst feeling I have. Uh, but yeah, I, I do dislike those. Uh, Azucena, I, I disapprove of, but it's because she is uh, absolutely OP. She is... Uh, these two, I mean, this one... Uh, this one has clear counterplay, and is not that strong in the end. This one is strong. She has more damage than she should have. We know this historically. She's always been held, always been a solid character, but held back by the fact that the damage isn't very high. But now they've buffed her damage a lot. Chainsaws are super fucking annoying. I don't really know how to counter them. Azucena, though, outright has, like, no counterplay. No counterplay. Uh, while running free, 2 is a god button that you can say, oh, step left into dock, but that's not really counterplay, because if you don't time that cor correctly, you blow up. And I don't know why it chips for such high damage on block. With all of those properties, it even chips. You get 
penalized for blocking an unbeatable attack. Um, Danford one four also jails. She has a ton of amazing pokes. She, um, she has very good evasiveness. Best rushdown in the game. Um, I dis here I just fundamentally disapprove of a game design and what the what were the de developers doing. Uh, so here is gonna be the first. Ah, uh, so this is one of the greatest fighting game designs of all time, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, I, this is gonna take literally three hours if if I take this long with every character. But uh, so I'm gonna shorten it more. Uh, completely unique, very unorthodox. Does his own thing. Super badass. Uh, very brainy character in the end. He, he conducts himself like a brain dead psychopath idiot. <laughs> okay, I can't do a Brian laugh. But he's the opposite. He, he rewards people who are very smart in how they apply their offense and defense. So, uh, and he's just super cool. Claudio can be annoying, but I'm gonna like him in the end because, um, yeah, he's got a pretty spammable hop kick. But even with his overtuned back one while running two, in the end he rewards the strong Tekken player. Who has strong fundamentals. And he's dead. I feel sorry for him. He's dead. Devil Jin, I really like. Even though he's complete, <laughs> complete horse shit bullshit in this game. I really like Devil Jin. He's a really cool design. I, I, I do have to say about Coffee Queen, the fact that she's... Uh, she aligns himself, she's an ally of uh, super fascist devil Kazia. It's kind of funny, it's it's endearing. But Devil Jin is bullshit when he goes into heat. Uh, but I, I still... <laughs> fuck, I just love Mishima. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, I hate going up against him. I hate going up against him. Uh, when he goes into heat, he's the final boss of Tekken 8, but... Uh, I don't know, I just like Devil Jin. Uh, Dragonov I really like, overtuned. They have to nerf his damage with about 30%. Why does he have a hatchet? <laughs> it complements his moveset way too too much. Uh, and uh, yeah, in a his throw game, in a game where throws are homing and basically unbreakable on counter hit, very, very bad. Uh, very bad. Uh, so, yeah, Dragonov. But, but I, I, he's, he's, he's so cool. And to be honest, I, I just... Uh, even though I know you guys are... Uh, this is my video. This is my truth. These are, this, these are my words and my truth. I know you're all going to hate him, Dragonov. But I feel Dragonov players kind of earn their wins. <laughs> I know everyone is just wanting to burn up their monitor right now, throwing it out the window. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... Dragonov players are never as brain dead as these two. Sorry, it's the truth. I, I know no one wants to hear it. Um, Feng Wei, go fuck yourself. Uh, perfect, flawless character. Super highest carry potential in the game. Highest win rate, brain dead. Have you seen Fujin Fengways? They don't even block. I don't- I, I'm not even entirely sure they know what holding back does. They- they just fucking spam Kempo and evasive garbage. Super brain dead. Way too fucking strong. So annoying. I don't know if you guys saw this one coming, but Horan gets a- gets a like from me. Uh, super annoying, super mashy, but in the end, nowhere near as brain dead as people think he is. Um, it's, uh, it's this thing where I'm gonna say the same basically about Yoshi. It's like, it can be really brain dead in certain instances, but the, the entry barrier, that it, the skill floor, the, the price of entry to do okay with Huarang and Yoshi, it's significantly higher than these characters. Significantly higher. So these, they can get super fucking cheap, but these are two characters where they sort of earn their cheese, the players. They earn the cheese, in my opinion. 
Uh, Jack is annoying for sure because they've turned one of the most honest characters into a uh, stance rushdown character. He's now a stance rushdown character. But it has to be said that if you lab that stance rushdown a little bit, it's not particularly strong. It doesn't seem very strong. Uh, and he still plays pretty classic Jack. Uh, the throws are kind of bullshit though. Like a any character with a launching throw in this game, it's not fun. Oh, it's homing. Oh, I, I pressed a button. Now I can't break it. Oh, there's half my health bar gone. Um, but I still really like Jack as a character design. I think he's cool in this game. And I'm also, I'm a bit biased because it's Wilhelm's favorite character. Wilhelm absolutely adores Jack. And I think that rubs off on me. But I've always liked Jack, you know, in Tekken 7. He got a little bit cheesier in Tekken 8. But I feel like if you just lab him a little bit, you, you'll notice that it's just a... Uh, a house of cards. The, the, his stance mix-ups. Like, if you do lab it, it's not very strong at all. It's it's not like June and Asusina where you lab it and you realize, oh, oh, okay, so there is no counterplay, right? Uh, pa pa Pathras, thanks for Prime. Jin is gonna get a like from me. Even though I, I like him way more in Tekken 7. In Tekken 7, Jin's uh, design... And I'm not talking about his sexy, sexy looks or his plumpy penis. I'm talking about uh, his gameplay design. It's uh, it's a work of art. It's just perfectly constructed. And what they've done here is uh, he's nowhere near as interesting for someone like me, who's a gigantic fucking nerd. But I still I, I appreciate what they did because what they did they they went and I made a video on this topic. They said, we want a Mishima archetype to be accessible. This is highly inaccessible. Highly inaccessible. Uh, oh, where's Reina? Highly inaccessible. We want a easy mode Mishima archetype. It should be there. You know what? He's our main protagonist. Tekken 8 story is going to focus pretty much, pretty much exclusively on him. Yeah, make him way easier. Simplify and streamline the moveset. Remove a lot of execution, and let's give the beginners the ability to electric by just pressing a button. No special style, it's built into his move list, the move list itself. So I, I, I kind of appreciate what they did though. I, I, I'm like, you know what, that's a sacrifice because I really like Legacy Jin, Tekken 7 Jin, but I, I get what you're doing. And uh, while he felt really overbearing while playing the demo, uh, because you would contrast him directly to Kazuya and Paul. But the more you play, once the game drops, and the more you play Tekken 8, the full game, the more you realize he's not very dishonest. Although I don't like Scourge, down two. I don't like his Samsara, I think it's overtuned. But the more I play Jin, the more I feel like the Jin players still work really hard. Jin players still have to use quite a few tools, um, so he, he gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, June is gonna get a massive, massive red flag. Uh, her heat smash is the biggest joke in the game. And again, his heat smash is, is a fucking joke. But the thing is, e even outside of heat, where, she, you know, Dark Souls boss June is her heat state, even outside of that, she's so fucking brain dead. She's so spammy. It's just, it's zero effort, it's, she's too strong, even with the nerfs, she's just way too strong, she has too many moves that are way plus, um, her combos are excellent, um, it, it's this con it's this interesting contrast where, in the story, uh, and it's like these two, you see how they're together here in the select screen, it's so beautiful, he's basically the world's biggest fucking asshole. He's literally the devil. And she's supposed to be Mother Teresa. I should save the world, save the trees. I talk to the squirrels. Oh, Mr. Squirrel, did you have a nice day today? Squeak, squeak, squeak. You know, she's like, she's the most wholesome being, right? But then you play the game and she's the biggest fucking scumbag ever, literally. And he's the nicest guy. Isn't that funny? How it's like, it's like, Opposite ends. 
Yeah, she is the devil. You know. And this is, wow, well, who's wholesome? Ronald McDonald. He's Ronald McDonald. Uh, Kazuya. Say no more. I'm not even gonna say anything. Oh, and you're gonna hate me? <laughs> I fucking love King. He even... Yeah, is he overtuned in Tekken 8? His throws are way too strong. His heat is way too strong. His heat smash is way too strong. I don't care. I fucking love King. And those big juicy pecs when he bodies me. Uh, I love King. Uh, Kuma... Go fuck yourself. Oh, 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 you know what? No! We're doing something special here, and I discussed this before. Y you know, you know, I, I always tell you guys to rematch every character. Rematch every character so you learn, you know, don't, don't be salty, go for it. The, the rule I'm going to hold myself to now is I get one, what's it called? Lifeline. One lifeline where I'm like, well, at least I don't have to do that. Because God knows it takes a lot of mental stamina to play ranked. I play a lot of like, I play like six hours of ranked per day. It's very hard to do. You, you need a really good uh, state of mind to be able to do that. It's very, very tough. But so, so I just figured yesterday, I played against Akuma and I was like, I just, I fundamentally disapprove of this character's existence. This character should not be in the game. The hitboxes are broken, the combos don't work, the hitboxes are even worse than Tekken 7. The, the head doesn't have a hitbox. I, I don't I don't know how they made it worse. But I and all the gimmicks, the cheese, the knowledge checks, I'm just like I fundamentally disagree with this character. So I'm just gonna in, in the in the future, I've just I decided yesterday I was, as I was streaming, you know what, this just isn't worth it. I get angry, so so I just felt like, you know what, you're gonna allow yourself one character where you just say, I don't have to rematch this. And it's gonna help me a lot with my energy levels as I'm playing ranked. So yeah, this, uh, and, and let's face it, these two are the same character. There are 31 characters in this game, not 32. This is a skin. So yeah, that's why I just did this. These characters, I'm gonna play them, I'm not gonna plug. Don't plug, but I'm not gonna rematch. It's like that character, I just fundamentally disagree. Go fuck yourself. Uh, I don't have a time, life's too short. Uh, and then we have Lars. <sighs> in Tekken 7, this guy, I, I would give him two greens. I'm like, you are card. He, he's, uh, he's a beginner character. I, I hate his design. I don't know what's Swedish about Lars. Maybe the hair? <laughs> or maybe the, oh, Shaku, who you? or you know what, his anime voice, whatever. Um, but I, uh, I don't know. Yeah. In Tekken 7, I really appreciated his gameplay, but here, uh, they've made him very brain-dead, lack of counterplay. Um, God, I might just X him. I don't know. I'm 50-50 on this one. Tekken 7, he gets, he gets, this is Tekken 7, right? But in this game, they, they removed so much counterplay and made him so stupid. They made him so stupid. I, I, I'm gonna X him. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are might be surprised with this, but uh, I took time to lab this character, and it's it's a joke. I can assure you, you would agree. Maybe I should do a video on him, but it's uh, he's a joke in Tekken 8. Uh, Law, I really like. I can't disapprove of Law. There's a case for him being an S tier, for sure. But uh, I like law players, and law players are usually cool. Lee is, it's impossible to dislike Lee. Character specialist, uh, character, uh, super high maintenance, super, you gotta please Lee. Um, super high on execution, very interesting game plan that's hard to execute. Uh, and he's super cool, very charismatic, you can't dislike him. 
Leo, I'm 50-50. Ah, uh, no, I think I'm gonna dislike Leo. I don't like Leo. No, fuck Leo. Uh, Leroy is impossible to dislike in this game. He's probably the worst character in the game. Uh, again, that's not gonna stop you from getting bodied by Leroy's at beginner and intermediate, but in high level, like, I, I would never wanna play. Uh, but if that goes, I mean, it's not like Kazuya's fun in high level as well, but Leroy in high level, they better fall for some of your setups because, like, all of your tools on a fundam fundamental level are just all so fucking weak. Um, so Leroy, one of the biggest scumbags of Tekken 7 and Tekken 8, he's like, he's as honest as can be, pretty much. And I love his design. He's still one of their best. Until her, he was their best visual design in terms of newcomer. Well, I mean, he might still be. Reyna has much cooler gameplay, though, so it's, it's difficult. Lily is my favorite waifu. Anytime you see a Lily at Fujin, I respect them as much as if I see a Fujin, Kazuya, Steve, Reyna, uh, Brian. There's a lot of characters we can mention here. They always has, have absolutely god mode fundamentals. Any any Lily, Lily, Lily you see in higher ranks will rely solely on her amazing movement into with punish or block punish, or then trying to apply basic 50-50s on you. Uh, outplay you. Um, and again, I'm saying this as someone who completely disapproves of her visual design. <laughs> Just a anime shit stereotype character, much like her, but the gameplay is really cool. Uh, and nowhere near as cheap as people think she is. Um, so she gets a thumbs up. Nina is a spammy bitch. She's way too strong. Uh, cheeses in every single fucking rank. And she's really dull in this game. She's so fucking dull. She's so dull. Um, I don't know. The more I see her like design in this game, her visual design, I think it's boring. I just think it's boring. Paul, absolute Giga Chad. Love playing him. Love playing against him. Um, yeah, Paul is awesome. Uh, Raven, let's see, knowledge checks from fucking hell. I think if I labbed him, I'd probably like him. I like him more than Master Raven. The clones are cool, like this noob cybot thing, but also the clones are so cheap. Like he throws. I mean, he goes into heat, and then it's just clone projectiles everywhere, and I have no clue what's going on. My guess is, though, but I'm speculating here, that if I labbed him, I don't think he would be that strong. I think it would be the jack effect, where it seems like this insurmountable wall of BS, but if you lab it, it just crumbles. I'm thinking he's going to be along those lines. And he's, he's cool. Raven is cool. It's so hard to dislike Raven. Maybe I should just lab him. I'm gonna give him a thumbs up. Rain has a massive fucking thumbs up. She's the greatest newcomer ever. Fucking ever. They've never done a better job with a newcomer. She's fresh out of the gates with 140 attacks and what, like, f six, five, five stances? And super fleshed out stances as well, like uh, Heaven's Wrath. It's called Heaven's Wrath, right? And then uh, Sentai. Very fleshed out stances, extremely interesting gameplay. Is a hybrid, very obviously a hybrid of Heihachi and, and uh, Lydia. Lydia is not coming back. Lydia was a test run of a Reina kit. Literally a test run of a Reina kit. I think they, re they pre released Reina. They were. She is such a brilliant design, but I know they've worked on Reina for many years. She's a labor of love for the developers. They really cared about this character. And Lydia, I, I've realized, was a test run of Reyna. They just didn't want to reveal Reyna, so they released Reyna with a different skin. That's literally what they did with Lydia. So that was a test run. And they gathered data on that, and they saw what people thought of that moveset. And, uh, well, this is it. Uh, this is her, you know. 
Uh, so Mishima archetype means uh, meets uh, rushdown waifu stance archetype meets uh, really cool in interesting parries, amazing the best movement in the game. Not not pro not probably not the best movement in the game, but in terms of Mishima, the best movement in the game combined with a 13 frame electric, combined with a, a down for two type launcher. There's just so much interesting going on. And it's, it's finally a female Mishima done right, finally. Uh, Angel sucked, everyone agreed she sucked. Like, I don't think Reyna visually is super interesting, but the voice just seals the deal. And I think they did the badass female correctly. It just works. I, I think, honestly, half the success of this character could almost be the voice actress. And half the success, I think, is the absolutely brilliant animations and moveset design. Labor of love for the developers, I think. Uh, yeah, they, they really went all the way with her. Uh, Shaheen, I, I like, you know, no one plays Shaheen. Anytime I run into him, I feel like I'm getting knowledge checked, even though he doesn't have knowledge checks. <laughs> because I just, I never see him. So, so even Shaheen doing a jab is a knowledge check on me because I'm like, oh, that's what his jab looks like. Yeah, this guy's fucking John Cena, you know, uh, invisible. But uh, I still like him. I like how straightforward he is. He's such a fucking bore that I feel bad for him. If I ever met Shaheen at a party, I'd go go and talk to him because he'd be standing in a corner by himself. Like, mm. I'd go over and talk to him because he's so harmless, you know. But like, he's so endearing in his, uh, he has no edge, you know. He's so harmless that it's endearing. Um, so yeah, he's gonna get a thumbs up due to that. Steve is an absolutely brilliant, uh, absolutely brilliant, uh, Character design. I could write a book on Steve, and I could write a book on Brian, I could write a book on Kazuya, might be able to write one on King. Quite a few characters, it's just... It's absolutely brilliant, and you hope to God they never change it. And that, that was uh, something I was afraid of with Tekken 8. I was like, you saw, you started seeing this dumb shit people were doing in beta and network tests, and you were like, please don't ruin Steve. He could be your magnum opus. Like, don't ruin this work of art. To me, it would be like, you know, walking into the Louvre and the Mona Lisa has been repainted into some fucking Disney monstrosity. You know, it's like, don't change this. Like, yeah. Uh, and uh, they, they know what they have. So what did they do? They, they, they didn't change it. They didn't change it. it uh, he still remains Steve. Although I... I disagree with Outfox, you know, he presses, what, up back free and he does this huge campo step. Really disagree with that. But outside of that, he remains Steve. Um, and Steve players work, work really hard. He's super complicated. He has the, almost the most defined strengths versus weaknesses in the game, which makes him really interesting in my opinion, like best counter at utility. But again, he, and he's very safe. He's insanely safe. But at the same time, he he allows his opponent to be in, insanely safe in turn. Uh, he can't launch a rage art. Uh, any any move you do, like oh I miss a hell sweep, hell sweep one, I'm minus sixteen. I, even on block where he can't launch me, he allows everyone to be so much safer in turn. That's that's the trade off for Steve being very safe, and it's it's insanely interesting to me and. Uh, his moveset is just, he can, he can do anything and almost nothing at the same time because his uh, his drawbacks are so massive. Uh, really complicated, high execution. Hate his voice in Tekken 8 though, that has to be said. Victor is a, f a joke. V Victor is a joke and I, I just disapprove with his existence. He's not as strong as Azucena, uh, now that they finally nerfed his throw. With the unbreakable throw, he, he was S tier, I would say. Uh, with that removed, I think he finds himself in A tier, but he, he just... There's so little effort that goes into this character. It's, it's just where you can say, you know what, he's A tier. But it's like, for most of these characters, 
for them to have their A tier or S tier efficiency, you pay a quite a hefty price of entry. You pay a hundred dollars to join that club. Ten cents. Ten cents and you have A tier efficiency. It's just like you, you can be... You can be an intermediate player and you play him for five minutes and you can beat a high level player who has a thousand hours with Brian. That's not a joke. That's not a joke. That's reality. Uh, so brain dead. The character does so, so much for you. But the character wins. You don't win. The character wins. Because of over massively overwhelming properties. And press one button. And then within three frames, he disappears from the screen. Comes crashing down with a death fist. But has infinite reach. Tracks way more than it should. Does 25 damage on block. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's death fist damage, it's just, yeah, it's just like 25 on block. Uh, I just, I, disapp I disapprove of this character's existence, which is a shame, because before the game released, he actually seemed really cool, and I was thinking of spending time with him, but as soon as I realized what he was, I was like, get this fucking gonorrhea off of me, I don't want the chlamydia infection that is this character. He's gonna pollute my soul. Just keep it away from me. Um, disapprove of your existence. Again, in Tekken 7, might have gotten a, ch uh, a green one from me, but... Everything is wrong about this character currently. Um, best knowledge checks. Hardest matchup to learn in the game. Uh, don't see her very often, so you never get an opportunity to learn the matchup. Can immediately, with the press of a touch of a button, she goes invincible, and then she launches you. Um, she is, on top of being a very tough matchup, super evasive, super stance BS, best panic buttons in the game. On top of that, she has some of the best fundamental tools in the game. Not only is she super, super tricky, she's S tier. She could be the best character in the game. Has the arguably the best heat as well, with the dumbest 50-50 in the game from Hypnotist. They also gave her a... She always had a launching throw, but they gave her a stronger launching throw in a game where throws are already broken. Um, so I, I just disapprove with the game design here. And I don't like her visual design, I hate her personality. Um, Yoshi is gonna get a check mark from me. Used to be one of the characters I hate the most, but it's it's honestly, it's almost impossible to, to hate him in this game due to the glow up of a character. He just shows up and he's like Yoshi 2.0, he's got a s nice smile on his face, he's wearing really cute jeans, perky ass, he has a positive vibe to him. I can't, you can't dislike that guy. He looks too good. His voice is really cool. His new moves are really cool. It's very very hard to dislike Tekken 8 Yoshi because of his fucking drip. Don't you agree? Don't you agree that it's pretty hard to dislike him? Even though Flash is so fucking dumb and he has so much dumb shit, I still end up kind of liking him and for the first time ever having this feeling of like, you know what, I actually want to play this character a little bit. That's never happened before, but Tekken 8 Yoshi does that to my penis. Zafina is gonna get a check mark. I've always liked Zafina, I think she's the sexiest and hottest female. Uh, and she has swag to her, she's cool, and in Tekken 8 she gets angry. And it works, it's not cringe. It's not like this, Ah, oh, Bokeh, you stupid! It's not that type of cringe loser, but she actually has the right attitude. A bit like Rain now, where it fucking works, and I and I like that. Um, and then I, I love her visual design. Her animations have always been some of the best in Tekken. Her animations are so unique. I like her unique approach. In Tekken 8, she was complete bullshit. In this game, 
she feels very subdued compared to Tekken 7. Uh, and her movement isn't horribly broken. Um, and actually, if you lab her... She, is she can, be, can she be really annoying to play against? Absolutely. But if you lab her, she's surprisingly fair, actually. Surprisingly fair. So, Zafina, I like. So, this is where we end up. And so, again, I, I knew this was going to happen. Because I love when people say, well... Main man, you hate every character in the game that's not Kazuya or Amishima. And I'm like, I don't know what content creator you're watching, that's never been the case. Uh, so yeah, as we can see, like, I, I need to count here. How many did I dislike? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 only. Well, I, I, even before I made this list, I said like, uh, um... Uh, even before I made the list, I said about 60% I'm gonna like, or two thirds. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. Ten. That's really cool. What? No, the bears don't exist. They don't exist. So ta ten characters I dislike, and the rest I like. That's pretty cool. But I mean, uh, that, this is what I expected it to look like, but uh, it's pretty cool. I wonder if you guys made a list like this, what it would look like. What would that look like? Let's see. Can I, can I try and predict it? Can I try and predict your list? I'm gonna do it really quickly. Spammy idiot. No, wait. Oh. Spammy idiot. I hate you. Spoke, boke, idiot, idiot. Snake edge, orbital. Free four is broken. Just spam free four. Oh my god, hop kicks. He's so broken. He is psycho crusher. I hate Fengwei. Oh my god, his throws are broken. Oh, he's the hero. He's shonen. I like him. Oh, oh my god, spam. You, all you do is spam Hell Sweep and Electric, and you think you're fucking good. Johnny, you, you can duck both of those. Uh, some people seem to like Lars, though. Uh, spam. People like Lee, he's charming. No, fuck no. Spam, spam. Spam, spam. Oh, Death Fist is OP! This is Death Fist or Demon Man! Spam. Oh my god, she's- No, people like Reyna. People like Reyna. No, oh, uh, exactly. Oh, they say it's so hard, but all you do is spam. No, no. Yoshi players get credit, I feel. Is this accurate? Yeah, I think this is, uh, this is if you guys made a list. Pretty much. Well, I mean, the, the character you play the character you play would get a check mark, obviously. Yeah. <laughs>